Hey guys, Adam Fennig here with Fennig Equipment. You're tuned into the Talking Shed. Today we're giving you guys a sneak peek at what you're going to see at our field day next week. And we've got a JM applicator lined up with a bunch of variations of different colder designs, different sealing, sealing mechanisms, our triple threat system, the true trail double spring, double parallel linkage colder system, and then we put a single uh, arm colder on here to show you what that can do and then a yetter standard 2996 now a lot of you guys may be wondering well what the heck are you wanting to show here and what we've got is we've got a bar that can put down pressure onto these wings right now i've got about a thousand psi coming from those cylinders putting weight from that main frame out here this ground's hard and we need to get these colders in the ground let's start here with this one cody and talk about parallel linkage designs and why we favor those. So you can see from that view probably, number one, this blade is pitched a little bit, it's turned. Okay, and I will give it the fact that it does have some age on it, it's probably seen some acres, but this pitch or that angle is coming from the blade being on this side and the spring being on this side. It wants to become straight again. Um, and so over time, you're going to have a colder that ends up bent or tweaked. And that's where the true trail design came. We've got a spring on each side, so it's an even pull. We've got parallel linkage on each side, so it's straight up and straight down. Think about your planter row unit. That's what the true trail is designed to be. Not only that, but you look, the springs on this true trail are hardly even working. Um, they're, they're not living a rough life right now. This one, there's a ton of tension on that thing. These springs, they're not, even, they're not even sweating because there's two of them. And so you can see how deep that knife is going and it, it's hardly even trying. So very, very low stress on this row unit. It's pulling true, it's pulling straight. So we get back to this one and you can see, if you come shoot from that side over, you can see how this knife is trying to work itself up out of the ground. This spring is trying its best to hold it down, but the, the ground is lifting up here and the pivot point is all the way up here. So this knife has got a ton of leverage on this spring. And so what happens is as we get hard ground and we put more and more pressure out on this wing, this knife just rears up out of the ground and you can see Look at the blade depth here, or the knife depth between this unit and this unit. It's astronomical. That's a lot of difference there. And we'll get to some depth uh, things here in a second. But first I wanna talk about parallel linkage design versus single arm. Single arm design, that knife is gonna rear up out of the ground. Parallel linkage, you're thinking, well, what the heck does the extra work? And it's this second arm right here that works its way back and it locks in to this bolt and does not allow it to pivot up on a single arm or a single pivot. There's two pivots and so this cannot come up. It's a straight up, straight down design and you can see the end result is depth. Now, what does depth equate to? Depth can equate to many things and, and you can arm wrestle over that for days, but Bex is doing a lot of studies on depth placement of side dress. Not only are we breaking up some of that hard soil underneath, we're allowing oxygen into those roots, but we're putting it down there where it's gonna stay down there. So this is the Yetter 2996. This is a single arm coulter. This is the true trail design. That is going the deepest, and this is gonna be the unit built for longevity. Right here, we're showing the triple threat system. That is where we can tee into your existing hose and we can put fertilizer in three different zones. Right here, at, in between the row of course, right here at the base of this plant and right here at the base of this plant. So what we're doing is we're essentially feeding the root system now and we're putting some down here for later. This is a great way to spread out your risk and uh, put some nutrients on now and put some on there for later. Great design, super easy to use. You can incorporate a valve to turn that on and off as well. Now, we were talking about sealing, and if you back up, Cody, you can see 
the absence of the seal or you know you look right here we've got a line going down through the ground you look right there there's a line and what's going to happen is this line right here it's going to begin to open up as that sun shines down here and it dries that out that'll open that area up and that fertilizer uh, that you put right down there it won't be shaded it'll be exposed that's where this yetter innkeeper comes into play uh, we can adjust this innkeeper um, from side to side right here on how aggressive we want to run it and then also we can adjust our spring tension on it here to really get a good seal so we're going to place our fertilizer deep and then we're going to seal it with that yetter innkeeper so that's what we're showing today this is a sneak peek into next week's uh, field day and some things that we'll be talking about several different options so if you've got a side dress bar today with single arm colders maybe you want to think about upgrading to the true trail or maybe a yetter parallel linkage 2996. maybe you already have the parallel linkage colders consider upgrading to our triple threat system that's what we're doing today talking nitrogen placement and thanks for tuning in